What's up, UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie, here today in the UHS studio. This is the brand new manual key duplicator XC002 Pro from Xhorse. We're going to be checking it out and seeing how it goes together. Before setting up, scan the QR code atop the machine to see and download the setup manual, as well as two setup videos provided by Xhorse. In the box, you'll find the XC002 Pro manual key cutter, a debris brush, 120 volt power cable, X and Y axis control arm, the Z axis control arm, Z axis lock bracket, two hex wrenches, two shims, two spacers, dual sided X horse clamp with bi directional 45 degree tilt action. Checking out the new clamp, it's pretty cool. It has these multiple places to put all the keys into it. We're gonna go over this in more detail. It needs to be loosened up to be able to tilt it in each direction. It can reach an exact 45 degrees on either the left direction or the right, depending on which one you want. Two-sided manual tracer, 1.5 millimeters and 2.5 millimeter. Milling cutters of 1.5 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter. HU100 test key, and a rubber condor mat to go on top of the machine. There's a built-in sorting tray for all included tools and accessories. To set up, first locate the Z-axis bracket and place it onto the Z-axis hub at the top right side of the machine. Align the holes. Locate the Z-axis arm with the bolt removed and insert it into the properly aligned Z-axis socket of the hub. Then, enter the corresponding nut into the hole of the same size at the bottom and tighten the arm until the bolt is snug. The Z-axis arm can be tightened to lessen or stop up and down mobility while cutting. Now, locate the XY axis arm and remove the attached nut. Then insert the arm through the two points located at the left bottom of the machine and the clamp base. Then replace the nut to secure the arm in place. At the front of the clamp base, find the Y axis brakes. The left knob controls total mobility and tension of the Y axis. The right knob sets max key cut space left to right. Next, insert the clamp into the clamp base from right to left. Tighten the clamp stop once aligned with the clamp alignment that works best for the key insertion location of the key to be cut. C is mostly for double-sided keys, B for high security keys, and A is for single-sided keys. We'll cover this more in just a few minutes. Next, locate the desired milling cutter and tracer and insert them tracer on the left and milling cutter on the right. To insert the tracer, loosen the chuck by pushing the handle fully to the left and insert the tracer before returning handle to the center location. Repeat this process for the milling cutter with the right side handle and insertion point. Make note of the new dimple action switch atop the tracer chuck which gives a bit of springiness to the tracer for the inner dimple cutting. Make sure the switch is fully clockwise before concluding all alignments or the tracer will hang too low and cause every cut to be deeper than you expect. Next, find the power cable and insert it into the machine rear and flip the switch to on before moving on to alignment and cutting. Tracer and milling cutter need to be aligned to evenly touch the key or the clamp base simultaneously, which will cause the alignment guide to glow green in the center symbol. When it's red, the side shown is touching first. Simply loosen the side that is not touching and tighten again when the light is green to ensure even height for decoding. Touches. Touches. 
Once ready, press the power button on the right face of the machine and adjust the cutter RPMs for cut speed or accuracy between 6500 and 10,500 RPM. The cutter begins spinning once the arm is given downward pressure and will power down once again when released to the top position. The XC002 Pro's unique manual clamp has multiple positions for differing types of keys. Each position has a different purpose. Clamp position A is for single-sided keys, while B is specifically for high security keys. C is mostly for doing double-sided keys. Once you're ready to cut, place the key to be duplicated into the left clamp to desired depth of shoulder or tip alignment using the included shims. Repeat this with the key blank on the right side of the clamp, ensuring the keys are inserted flat and evenly. Now loosen the black clamp handles to rotate the base left 45 degrees and retighten before you start cutting. With the cutter and tracer even in height, use the side of the milling cutter to easily duplicate this key in seconds. Once again, note that if the thickness of your milling tracer and cutter are differing, you will not get the correct cutting results. For high security keys, we're going to use channel B. Once you're ready to cut, place the key to be duplicated into the left clamp to the desired depth of shoulder or tip alignment using the included shims. Insert the key flat onto the inner groove of the channel and then tighten in place. Did that change in a lot? No, I don't think it changed anything. Repeat this with the key blank on the right side of the clamp, ensuring both keys are inserted flat and evenly. Be sure that the tracer and cutter tips are of a matching size. If not, the cuts will be too deep or far from the needed placement. Begin duplication once aligned and ready. Tighten the Z-axis arm at the lowest cut depth to make cuts using just the X and Y axis, staying clear of the clamp base. When halfway, loosen the key blank, clean the clamp base of metal shavings, then reinsert and cut the other side of the key before checking and testing.
Successful duplication. Let's move on. Back in the studio, we're now going to cut a high security dimple key. To duplicate the 206 high security dimple key from the guard, use the desired dimple cutters and clamp position B. We're using the Keyless Factory dimple cutter set, shown on screen right now. First, insert outer dimple tracer and cutter. Then, dimple keys, cut key on the left and blank on the right. Insert it to tip at last line. Carefully measure the alignment before you make any cuts. Tighten the center knob in the base to lock lateral motion and cut each dimple from front to back of the key. Then, remove the outer cutter and tracer. Then, insert the inner dimple tracer and cutter. Make note that if the dimple tracer has a spring, align the cutter height to match the inner tip of the dimple tracer. Cut the inner dimples to match, flip the key and repeat, then test the duplicate.
another successful duplication. Now we're going to give a double-sided Toyota key a try using position number C on the clamp. Once you're ready to cut, place a new key to be duplicated into the left clamp with the spacer inserted into the lower channel of the clamp in area C. Insert the key to be duplicated into the left side resting atop the spacer to the desired tip position with the shim at the last line. With the shims removed and the alignment set, begin duplicating the key sides. Once finished, be sure to clean and remove all metal shavings from the machine base, clamp, and moving parts before finishing up. This will ensure that your machine will last a lot longer and stay performing at its peak as long as you own it. And that's it. After working with this machine, I can easily and honestly say that it has been a slight challenge with a little bit of a learning curve as it's a manual cutter and it takes a little bit of time to get the correct finesse. Very easy machine to use. It's easy to duplicate, very quick to work with easy to clean up, set up, and do everything with. Once again, this has been the XC002 from X-Horse, now in stock at uhs-harbor.com. Check it out, along with all other machines and tools from X-Horse, affordable and easy to use residential and automotive keys from Keyless Factory, as well as high security keys and locks from Degard and Canard, only available at uhs-harbor.com. Follow along with us on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram if you're not already doing so. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. We're looking out for you guys all the time. Great to have you. Great to see you. Thanks for coming by. Have a good one. Once again, I'm Louie, and we'll see you soon.